Hey all, hope you all are doing well in this pandemic. So I'm here to voice myself in this not so important topic. Yes, it's about Drone Pratap. Most of you will be aware of this case, but if you don't, then let me brief you. This whole case is about a guy named Pratap, aka Drone Pratap, from Mandya district, Karnataka, who was in the limelight for pretty long time for his success on drone and related topics, where he claimed himself as a drone scientist and has represented our country in many international arena, let it be Japan, Germany or whatever. He is also famous for his highly mythical speeches with full-on self-posting. So what's about him now? Well, this case emerged few weeks before because of someone posted about him. I think it was him, a poor show of publicity stunt, where his so-called achievements resurfaced on social media claiming as he got offered by France with highly impressive offers to work with them and he has rejected it. It spread like forest fire. With all this, an article surfaced out of nowhere where his whole image was claimed to be fake and again social media was on fire. Tons and tons of trolls. It was to such an extent that his rest in peace posters were released. How inhumane it could be. So what's my view on this? Let me tell you something. I have heard of this guy since 2018 when his topic was published for the first time and as everyone even I do believed it but after a few days he stopped it resurfaced again in our drones and UAV community where one of our fellow drone techie claimed him to be fake and fraud. So I got curious and dig a little bit on him. Shockingly I came across few of his claims which was straight out of Marvel's story. Hence I chose not to dig more since it was stupid and insane. But now, it became totally important for me to go through his claims and with various resources and evidences, we can conclude that this guy wanted a quick fame and he got himself into his own shit pool. I guess he got inspired by Harshwadhan Zala, a 14 year old guy from Gujarat, being the youngest drone builder in India so far. He has supplied his drones for Indian Defence Services where he was talk of the town since 2017. He is for real. So how did Mr. Pratap pulled off this whole blunder? He clearly planned it out to fake himself as an achiever by just attending international events and collected as many as photos and fake profiles from the events itself. What's shocking is, he was prepared with fake certificates and medals before the event itself. Later, he published his self-praising articles to the media and they being the content chasers got something to feed public. His main target was to catch hold public sentiments, where he highlighted that he is from a small district with a farming background with no much resources. He also claimed as he had to sell his mother's Mangal Sutra to afford his trip to Tokyo. A well written story right? I mean a serial story. This made the whole media to boast about him without even checking the facts behind it. With all this fame, he got his podium to get invited as delegate for multiple events. His another major tool was social media, where a simple post forwarded and shared, boom, Pratap has already become star of the planet. But in reality, he simply assembled drones. There is a big difference between assembling and inventing. He was a genius though, such a nice manipulator, or again a best candidate for next PM elections. Such a genius, he just manipulated the whole public and media under their nose. Well, who could have thought about a 19 year old guy being so crooked minded? This is to Mr. Pratap. Listen, the damage you have done to our community is huge. Many of us are getting trolled and teased with your topic. Everyone in our community are furious on your blunder. You might have destroyed many dreams. I guess you have a good future in brand building, not in this. But brother, just end this for once and forth. Either you have to accept your blunder or just hide yourself until you build yourself to the safe standard as you claimed because we clearly know what you have done. For God's sake, just don't compare yourself with legends or boast about your stupid claim. Getting into quick fame won't last long. Start a new building, grow yourself. Rebuilding your credibility is a real challenge given to you in this life. You were not inspirational as a fake torchbearer but you could inspire many by building yourself again from scratch for genuine this time. Learn more, work hard, sweat in your struggle, then give a comeback. If you still 
stick with your word with no solid evidence then no one is a bigger dumbass than you and to you all folks social media is not a place to get inspired not a place to find your role models there are many others to look upon in real life chase your dreams in your own shoes let's learn from this and move on we have plenty of issues to look upon and it's not one of them that's it hope i sound clear if any objections please feel free to get in touch be safe wear mask sanitize your body and brain and just smile it's a freaking jungle out there bye jai hind